Welcome. And a topic I'd like to talk about in this particular session is looking at user stories. But in this case, I want to look at user stories and the business case. All too often, we tend to think about user stories related to the product, the feature, the requirements that we're looking at that make, as a collective, all the requirements make up the final objective of the project, the output. Okay. Now, when we look at user stories in this case, they're used in that particular point to say, why is this particular feature or product needed, required, for my particular initiative? Um, now, in this particular point, be forget that actually there's a high level here. Why are we running the project in the first place? The business case, what's in the business case, the why and the what, this makes up the user story. So when we talk about that, the why and the what, and the what in the business case, right, make up the user story for the business case. Why am I here? Why am I running the project? What do I expect to get out of it? Right. So this is not just project level, program level, portfolio level, right up to portfolio level. Why are we running this particular initiative within this particular part of the business or in the business overall at all? Right. So this is something very important to remember. The user story is not just down at the development level. It's very useful down there because it does the first thing, it turns the product into why it is required. But really, we need to go one more step, and I'll discuss this in a bit more detail. We need to go one more step to take that requirement to what level of requirement is that? In other words, we have to prioritize that requirement against other ones and against, and more particularly, against the overall objective and the outcome of the project, outcome of the project.